Number 23 then from the Higher Maths 2009 first paper. There's a sketch of a function f of x, you have to copy it, done it, don't think that was one of the marks, and then sketch the graph of this alteration to y equals f of 2x. Well, notice where the change has taken place. It's taken place inside before any evaluation. That means the results, the original answers will stay the same. It's not going to move at all in the vertical direction. There'll be no changes to the y coordinate, it'll be their positions. And this change inside says, if you like, the opposite of what you'd have thought. Instead of expanding to twice the width, it's going to be halved. Because quite simply, to plot the answer at 1, when x is 1, I go to 2 times 1, I go to 2, take its answer, and bring it back. If I want the answer at 2, I have to find the answer at 4, and bring it back. So it's getting brought back in, so it's going to be half the width. So it'll be same heights, but half the widths. So this point will stay where it is. This point, whatever it is, is going to come back to half its distance. It wasn't specified. This point here at negative 4, 8 will still stay at 8, but instead of negative 4, it'll now just be at negative 2, 8. This point will still stay at 8, but instead of being at 2, it'll now just be at 1. So the new graph is going to follow the same pattern, but go through it like this then. Down, and then back up this way. That would be the graph of y equals f of 2x. I'll just put those points in again. That would be 1, 8, and that would be 2, 8. Negative 2, 8. Now for part B, on a separate diagram, sketch the graph of y equals 1 minus f of 2x. Now, f of 2x is this new graph in red here, so 1 minus it. Now, this time all the changes are taking place outside. Now, what this is, is the new y-coordinates will be 1, take away the old ones. Now, subtracting the old ones is going to turn it upside down. So, I'm going to be turning it upside down, and then finally adding 1 onto everything, which means shifting up 1. So, it must be you take the graph, and you turn it upside down. And having turned it upside down, you then shift it all up 1. So the new graph should be looking like this. Simply putting that over here then, where the points would be for y equals 1 minus f of 2x. The origin has now gone up to 1 on the y-axis. Simply in that, it's 1 minus the original y-coordinate. 1 minus 0 is 1. This point, which was at 1, 8, will still be at 1, because there's no further change inside, so it'll still be at 1. But instead of 8, it'll be what it says, 1 take away 8, so it'll be negative 7. This point, which was, sorry, up here at negative 2, 8, will still be at negative 2, but it'll no longer be at 8. The new y coordinate will be 1 minus the 8, so it'll be negative 2, negative 7. And this point here, I don't really know where it goes, across the way, except that it's something up at 1, so I'll probably not even mention that one. That would be the graph then.